。嗯，好，我今天背诵第一课到第二十六课的课文。Lesson one: A private conversation. What? Why did the writer complain to the people of Vienna? Last week I went to the theater. I had very good seats. The play was very, very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I got very angry. I could not hear actors. I turned around and looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not hear it. I turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily. It's none of your business. The young man said rudely. I can't hear a word. I can't hear a word. I said angrily. It's none of your business. The young man said rudely. This is a private conversation. Our lesson two: breakfast or lunch. Why was the writer's end surprised? It was a Sunday. I never get up early. Get up early on Sundays. I sometimes stay in bed until until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I got I got up very late. I looked out of the window. It was dark outside. What a day! I thought it's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I've just arrived by train. She said, "I'm coming to see you," but I'm. But I'm still having breakfast," I said. "What are you doing?" she asked. She asked. "I was having breakfast," I repeated. "Dear me," she said. "Do you always get up so late? It's one o'clock." Lesson three. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always spoil my holidays. Last summer, I went to Italy. I visited museums and sat in public gardens. A friend in winter taught me a few words of Italian. Then he lent me a book. I read a few lines, but I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. I thought about postcards. My past, my holiday passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day, I made a big decision. I got up early and bought. Bought thirty-seven cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did not write a single card. Lesson four. An exciting tree. Why is Tim finding this tree exciting? I've just received a letter from my brother Tim. He's in Australia. Has has been there for six months. Six months. Tim is an engineer. He is a Tim. Is an engineer. He is working for a big firm and has gone to has already visited a great number of different places in Australia. Yes, he has. He has just bought an Australian car and has gone to has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center. In the center of Australia, he will soon visit Darwin. Dar Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been abroad before, so he's finding this trip very exciting. Lesson five: No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Card has crash in Surrey, and now he has just bought another crash in Pinhurst. Pinhurst is only five miles from. Surrey, but Mr. Scarlet cannot cannot get a telephone for his new garage, so he has just bought twelve pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried the first message from Pinhurst to Surrey. The bird covered the distance in three minutes. Up to now, Mr. Scarlet has all has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, he has gone. Has begun his own private telephone service. On lesson six, Percy Buttons. Who is Percy Button? Have just moved moved to a house in the in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a vendor knocked at my door. He asked me for a meal and a glass of beer in return for this. The vendor still nods his head and sings songs. 
I gave him a meal. He ate food and drank the beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, he never told me about it. His name is Percy Buttons. Oh, everybody knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. Calls at every house in the street once a month, and always asks for a meal and a glass of beer. Half less than seven. Too late. Did the detective save Damon? The play was late, and detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were expecting a valuable parcel of diamonds from South Africa. A few hours earlier, someone had told the police that thieves were trying to steal the diamonds. When the player arrived, some of the detectives were waiting, waiting inside the main building, while others were waiting at on the airfield. Two men took the parcel off the plane and carried it into. The customer's house. While two detectives, detectives were waiting, were keeping guard at the door. Two others opened the puzzle. To their surprise, the precious puzzle was full of stones and sand. A lesson A. Lesson A is the best and the worst. Why, John's garden, the most beautiful one in the town. John Sanders had the most beautiful garden in our town. Hmm. Nearly ever, ever, but entered for the nicest garden competition each year. But Joe wins every time. Bill Frank's garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder than Joe, and grows more flowers and vegetables. But Joe's garden is more interesting. It's made neat paths and has built wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year, I I enter for the garden competition too. And I always win a little prize, little prize for the worst garden in the town. A lesson nine: a cold worker. What does cold worker refer to?、Mm. On last on Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It it was the last day of the year, and the crowd, a large crowd of people, had gathered under the town hall clock. It was twelve twelve in twenty minutes time. Fifty minutes passed, and then at five to twelve, the clock stopped. The dignity's hand did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Some suddenly, someone shouted. It's two minutes past twelve. The clock has stopped. Hmm. The clock has stopped. I look. I looked at my watch. It was true. The baker refused to welcome the new year. At that moment. Everybody began to laugh and sing. On lesson ten, not for jazz. What, what happened to the clavichord? We have, we have no musical instrument. It is called a clavichord. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clavichord is kept in the living, the living room. It has belonged to our, it has belonged to our, our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by a visitor. She play. She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the keys too hard, too hard, and two of strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we're not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by friends of my father. Less than eleven. One good turn deserves another. Who pay for Tony's dinner? I was having dinner at the restaurant when Tony Steele came in. Tony worked at worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but he is now working at a bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came and sat sat at the same table. He has never borrowed money, money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me twenty pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. I have never borrowed any any money from you, Tony said. So now you can pay for my dinner. Oh, lesson twelve. Goodbye and good luck.、Hmm. Where is the Captain El? 
Captain Anderson going and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Anderson, will sail from Portsmouth tomorrow. We're meeting at harbor early in the morning. He will be his small boat, Topsail. Topsail is a famous little boat that has sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain Anderson will set out at 8 o'clock, so we'll have plenty of time. We'll seize those, and then we'll say goodbye to him. He will be away for two months. Two months. Two months. We are very proud of him. He will take part in, in take part in important race across the Atlantic. A lesson. Lesson. And lesson thirteen. The Greenwood Boy. Why will the police have a difficult time? The Greenwood Boys are a group of pop singers. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, they will be coming by train, and most of the young people in the town will be meeting them at the station. Tomorrow evening, they will be giving, they will be singing at a worker club. The Greenwood Boys will be staying for five days. During this time, they will give five performances. As usual, the police will have difficult time. They will they will be trying to keep order. It is always the same on this occasion. Lesson fourteen. Do you speak English? Do the young man speak English? I had I had I had amusing experience last year. After I had left a small village in the south of France, I drove on to next town. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped, and he asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got, in, got into the car, I said good morning to him in French, and, and he replied in the same language. Apart, of, apart from a few words, I don't know any French at all. Neither of us, neither of us spoke during the journey. I had, I had nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly said, very slowly, "Do you speak English?" As I soon learned, he was English himself. Oh, lesson fifteen. Good news. What was good news? What was good news? What was good news? The secretary told me that Mr. Hardsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went in to. His office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. After I had sat down, he said that business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had left, had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Hopsworth, I said in a weak voice, "Don't interrupt," he said. Then he smiled and told me. And told me, I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Lesson sixteen: A polite request. What was a polite request? If you park your car in the wrong place, a traffic policeman will so find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without ticket. However, this does not always happen. Traffic police are sometimes very polite. During a holiday in Sweden. Found this note on my car, sir. We will come into our city. This is no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay attention to our street signs. This note is only a reminder. If you receive a request like this, you cannot fail to obey it. Lesson seventeen. Always young.、Mm. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old she is? My Aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least thirty-five years old. In spite of this, she often appears on the stage as a young girl. Jennifer will, will, will have to take part in new play soon. This time, she she will be a girl of seventeen. In the play, she must in a bright red dress and a long black 
on black stockings. Yes, last year in an in another play, she had to wear short socks and a bright orange colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always answers, "Darling, it must be terrible to be grown up." Lesson eighteen. He often does this. What ha- what what had happened to the writer's bag? After I had had lunch at a village pub, I looked for my bag. I had left it on a chair be- beside the door, and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. "Do you have the meal?" he asked. "Yes, thank you." I I answered, but I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my bag. The landlord smelled and immediately came, went out. In a few minutes, he he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this. Lesson nineteen. Sold out. When will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment," I said. "It may has、uh, have begun already." The student answered. I hurried to the ticket office. "May I have two tickets, please?" I asked. "I'm sorry, we've sold out," the girl said. "What a pity!" Susan exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the ticket office. "Can I return these two tickets?" he asked. Certainly, the girl said. I went back to the ticket office at once. Could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But they're for next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them? I might as well have them. I said sadly. Lesson twenty. One man in the boat. While fishing, the favor the writer's favorite favorite sport. Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. Catching anything. Hmm. Catching, catching anything. But, but this does not worry me. Some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I'm even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After after having spent the whole morning on the river, I always go home with an empty bag. My,、uh, you must give up. You must give up fishing, my friends say. It's a waste of time, but they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm only interested in sitting in the boat and doing nothing at all. Lesson twenty one. Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. I live near an airport, and passing planes can be heard night and day. The airplane was built years ago, but for some reason, it were it could not be used then. Last year, however, last year, however. It came in to you. It came in to you. Over a hundred people must have been driven away from their homes by the noise. I'm the, I am the, I'm one of the few people left. Sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by a passing train. I have been offered a large sum of money to go away. But I'm determined to stay here. Everybody says, everybody says I must be mad, and they are probably right. Lesson twenty-two. Glass envelope. How did Jane receive letter from a stranger? My daughter Jane. Um. Never. Has never dreamed.、Uh, My daughter Jean never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl, 
of her old age in Holland last year. Last year, we were traveling across the channel and she pulled a piece of she uh, pulled a piece of paper with her name and address only into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the garden. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But ten months later, ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girl, both girl, read to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use postcard. The post office letters will certainly uh, will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Lesson 23, version 3, the new house. And why is the new house special? I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She lives in Nigeria. In her letter, she said that she she would come come to England next year. If she comes, she will get a surprise. We are uh, we are now living in a beautiful new, beautiful new house in the street, uh, in the country. Work on it had begun before my sister was left. My sister left before my sister left. The house was completed. Com was completed. Five months ago, in my letter, I told her that she will, she could stay with us. The house has many large rooms and there is a lovely garden. It is, it is a modern, a very modern house. So it looks strange to some people. It must be the only modern house in the district. But less than twenty-four. It it could be worse. Had the writer's money been stolen? I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I have just I have just lost fifty pounds and I felt very upset. I left the money in my room, I said, but it's not there now. The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. Everyone is losing money in these days. He said, "He start to complain about complain about the this wicked world. Complain this wicked world, but was interrupted by a knock at the door. The girl came in and put a envelope on his desk. I found this outside this gentleman's room," she said. "Oh, oh it contained fifty pounds. I found the I found this outside this gentleman's room." She said, well, I said to the manager, there is still some honesty in this world. Lesson 25. Do the English speak English? Uh, why does the writer not understand the border? I arrived in London at last. The railway station was big, black, and, uh, and dark. I didn't. I didn't know the way to my hotel, so I asked a porter. I not only spoke English very carefully, but very clearly as well. The porter, however, could not understand me. I repeated my question several times, and at last, he understood. He answered me, but he spoke neither slowly nor. Nor, uh, you speak nor, you speak nor clearly. I am a foreigner. I said. I said. And then he spoke slowly, but I could not understand it. 
My teacher never spoke English like, like that. The porter and I looked at each other and smiled. Then he spoke something I'd, I'd understood, and I understood it. You will, you will, you will soon learn English," he said. "I wonder in England, each person speaks speaks a different language. The English understand each other, but I don't understand them. Do they speak English?" "Oh,、uh, 今天的最后一课学习的 lesson twenty six." 第二十六课 ，The best art critics， 最佳评，最佳艺术评论家。Uh, who is Who is the student's best critic？ 我 I'm a I'm an art student， and I paint a lot of pictures。Some people pretend that pretend that they understand modern art. They always tell you what picture is about. What a picture is about. Of course, many pictures are not are not about anything. They are just pretty pretty patterns. We love that. We 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 like that in the same way that we like pretty curtain, pretty curtain material. Pretty curtain material. I think that young children often. Appreciate modern picture better than anyone else. They notice more. My sister is my sister. My sister was only seven. Is only seven. She always tells me whether my pictures, my pictures good or not. Whether my pic, my pictures is good. Are good. My pictures are good or not? She came into my room yesterday. What are you doing? She said. She asked. I'm hanging this picture on the wall. I answered. It's a new one. Do you like it? She looked at it. She looked at it critically. Critically. For a moment, it's all right," she said. "But isn't it? But isn't it? But isn't it upside down? But isn't upside down?" I look at it again. She was right. It was. Oh, 好了，一到二十六课课文内容就到这里吧。好，下次见，拜拜。